I work as a community arts worker and have done now for over 35 years, so I feel like a bit like a nana. I mean, I, I personally am a community artist because I fundamentally believe that um, we all have the right to have access to the arts and, and we are all creative beings. To say your arts is based around a building, it's very hard for a lot of people um, to actually walk through that, that door and to go into that building. So already it excludes a lot, of, a lot of people. But a community arts way, the platform is very, um, it goes out. And so that you're actually doing art and showing art in a community setting, which is the people's own setting. So it takes away some of that stigma. This is Bathgate Park. Um, I'm the artist in residence at the school in Dunedin and we're actually in the um, art studio where I work directly with the students and the teachers. So I, I'm in this project here to support the teachers in their classroom teaching. They do different topics within their class and so we bring them out of the classroom to the art studio and to push them further in that topic. So for example, you know, New Zealand disasters you know, there's a group of boys that came here every lunchtime for a year and made the Titanic. You're doing maths to do maths, but you're actually doing maths so that you can actually make the sculpture of the Titanic and measure how long it is. And they get it because you're actually explaining in a different way. Schools are very good at giving an opportunity for someone to play sport. You know, they have playgrounds, but there's never usually an art space. So we have this art space open when I'm here so that children can find a way to be creative in their own time. This school was an intermediate, so one of the negatives was it had big corridors. We now have um, corridors like an art gallery, so we can show um, you know, children's art by children for children. I mean, most galleries need to pick up on that. If you go to a gallery, you never see any work done by children. Because of my networks, we're going to be part of an international children's studio group, which means that the children will have contact time with other art studios around the world that children are based in. They know now that they are doing really cool things. They know because everybody gets really jealous when they see their work. But now it's to bring it out so that they know that they're part of the world as well, so that they can actually have contact with some children in India or with um, some children in Africa. I bring to them a boldness of using materials. And what happens in schools, there's a slight dumbing down in the creative spirit. So what happens here is they just want to make three-dimensional huge things. So from a war zone that they've, you know, they spent a whole year making, now they're moving on to planning their city and what they need and where will the water come from, what will they do with their sewerage. We don't call this room the art room anymore, well we try not to and that's been one of my sort of personal goals, it's an art studio and the children that come here are artists within their own right. The community arts gets people in a different way, it's a way that people can succeed.